And I have too much shit. I don't, how long have we been going? 43 minutes. Okay, we got some time. Did you see the normal apology on the view? Mm-mm. No. Like, I'm only showing this because... And look, by the way, I, maybe I shouldn't show it. Well, we talked about it last week, so just... If it's we talked about the sure. norm drama going on. Mm -hmm. Well, he was just to be clear with everything going on. I'm a hundred percent norm fan. Okay, I'm a ride or die norm motherfucker. I'll say that right now. Um, he went. He made a statement that was taken out of context. From what I gather, he clears it up. I think here, and he cleared it up on. He clears it up here. Taken up, made a statement, came out of context, and then he said something on Howard, which Howard, I can't imagine. I, I bet I would say a lot of regrettable things on Howard. Mm -hmm. I bet I, I bet they would. I would roll in. They'd have a Tito's in the green room. I'd have a Tito's, and I would be like, "I was molested when I was." I would just fucking. I probably wouldn't say that, but I would. And then it wouldn't be real, and they'd be like, "Wait, you lie, molested?" Um, so Norman on the View. I watched this in my hotel room. It made me frustrated, but there's some things that I find fascinating in this. One is. In today's society, when you do apologize, they're just looking for more reasons to trip you up. Like, it's just, it's almost like, <laughs> they, it's, I can't, I can't talk about it without paraphrasing my friends who all might talk about this on stage. And so I don't want to talk about it too much, but we'll watch the apology on The View. And I, the only reason I say so is there's one hilarious moment where towards the end where I'll stop it and I'll tell you where it is. This is 10 minutes long. We're not watching this whole fucking apology, okay? Let's just get to the part that I found funny. The part I found funny is when Norm is like, they're like, you seem afraid to talk. And he was like, and he, I, part of me wants to go, no fucking shit. Every time he opens his mouth, someone else finds something to be more mad about. I wouldn't fucking talk either. It's like, you can't, damned if you do, damned if you don't. You go on The View and you, people, it's like, they, I don't even know if they want, they just want your head. They don't, they don't, I don't think the apology, I, I, by the way, I'm paraphrasing everyone else right now. When he starts eating the mints and then he talks about having sex and jo you can see Joy go, God damn it. Here we go again. Watch Comedian this. Norm McDonald's Let's get out of a this. huge hot topic. Over. He's the best. I love Norm. So I, I agree clubs with that. Where it's a small group. Often people will come and say, you know, uh, some some guy said a joke and you're asked to defend it, yeah. and the joke is always horrible. Like it's the worst joke you've ever. Heard. By the way, Norm has a beautiful point. If you haven't seen, we should rephrase all of this. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to play the apology. I'm just going to tell you, go watch Norm McDonald's show on Netflix. It is fucking brilliant. I would play it, but I'm certain I would be taken down. It is so fucking great. Ten episodes. In the ten episodes, it is David Spade. <laughs> Michael Keaton, that's my email, Michael Keaton, uh, Jane Fonda, Lauren Michaels, David Letterman, a, a guitar player, Shady something, I forget his name. Um, uh, who else does he have on it? Do you know who else he has on it? Mm -mm, no. Let me, I want to run down all of them and I'll, I'll give you a little footnotes because I've watched all of them. Go offline real quick if, on my computer if you can, right here. And we'll just pull up Norm's show, Bert's Watching Netflix. Congratulations. Oh, Bert's Secret Time is on Netflix? I didn't know that. That's so fucking funny. That's so crazy. Norm MacDonald is the number one trending show right now on Netflix. Why? Because it's fucking awesome. Oops, something went wrong. Let's see if we can... Norm MacDonald is the number one trending... The Norm MacDonald has a show. Let's look at episodes. Here we go. I can't stand... Episodes... Judge Judy, amazing fucking one. Really, David? Yeah, dude. Norm has a a, a a casualness with interviewing people where he's got a bunch of cards, but he knows what he wants to talk about, it. and he drives the conversation as if you're at a dinner party. And he say you're at a dinner party, and Norm cornered you off and was really interested in you. That's what this feels like. Hmm. And you got Adam Egot is off to the side, and Adam is just. The ultimate, he's all of us. He's the ultimate Norm fan. He's literally listening and watching and giggling and he has a couple questions and Norm throws him under the bus every now and then. It's fucking awesome. He has Judge Judy on. And you think to yourself, why would this be a good interview? You know why? Because Norm is interested in Judge Judy. It's 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 this old travel channel. I'm not, I, you know, I talk shit about travel channel sometimes, my experience there. And I think that's just as a comic. I don't like celebrating things. I like to tear them apart a little bit. I think it's a healthier way to look at life is to look at your past uh, interactions and kind of whittle them apart as like, what was the thing that was the bone in your side or the thorn in your side? Um, what was I saying? Uh, he's interested in Judge Judy. Oh, travel channel used to say, find people with passion. 
passion begets passion. If you interview someone with passion, then you don't have to interview anyone. Well, the difference in this is that Norm is passionate about every single one of the people he has on here, like genuinely passionate. David Spade does the best interview I've ever seen David Spade do, and I am a huge David Spade fan. I've watched a lot of David Spade. It is the greatest interview. David Spade tells a story about snorting B12 for this movie he did, and apparently over snorting it, and it's one of the funniest fucking... Dude, David Spade is at his best with Norm McDonald because it's a casual conversation. So I watch that one and I go, it can't be like this across the board. The next one's Drew Barrymore, right? It's almost like playing bricks and balls. I go to the next one and I go, well, I'll just watch the beginning of it. And I binge watch the entire thing. Drew Barrymore, this is where I pull in that Norm quote. Drew Barrymore, by the way, just for the record, does not get the idea of jokes in general, in concept. He tells her four jokes that are fucking hilarious and she doesn't get one of them. And they're hilarious jokes. They are hilarious. And she goes, I don't get it. Every time I don't, I don't, I laugh. It was fucking hilarious. And then Norm said at one point, you know, my problem with people who don't get jokes is you're not allowed to then not like them. You can't tell me it wasn't funny because you didn't get it. So once you don't get a joke, you, you're out of the voting. You don't get to say if it was a good or a bad joke. You didn't get it. It's fucking brilliant. Amazing. Judge Judy, David Letterman, Jane Fonda. This is my favorite interview show I've ever watched. And I got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit proud in that the fact that like I look at Something's Burning, which is an interview show too. It's my show on uh, YouTube. Check it out. But I, lo- I look at it and I go, you know what? I'm, I'm not as good as Norm because I don't really have any passion and I'm not really super interested. I'm just, but it's casual. It's got the same casualness of it. It's like... Imagine if you took like an hour 20 podcast and whittled it down to like 40 minutes, 35 minutes, and you just got the best question and answers. I didn't watch the one with Chevy Chase. I don't like Chevy Chase. I, I, I didn't watch that one. Um, M. Night Shyamalan. Michael Keaton is fucking amazing. Did you know that John Lovett's character, eh, that's right, the liar, the pathological liar, that's the ticket. Yeah, that was a Michael Keaton bit that John Lovett's took. Did you know that? No. Dude, Billy Joe Shaver. Might be one of the best. I'm going to Google Billy Joe Shaver. That's how we're going to close this episode out. We're going to play some Billy Joe Shaver music. And the Lorne Michael ones starts with Ted, the head of fucking Netflix. Is it Ted? I should know this. Are you Googling it? I was looking at Billy Joe Shaver. Uh, We're going to play it. Don't fucking worry. It's one of the best shows. These are our fans. We owe them our gratitude and respect. Is what? Reed Hastings, CEO of Netflix. No, Ted. uh, Ted. Ted is the fucking head of oh, Netflix. Oh, yeah, Ted Saranos. Yeah, Ted Saranos. It starts off with Lauren Michaels and Ted Saranos in the back, and you don't see Ted's face. It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. Dude, this show, hit me up at any point. Tag Norm McDonald. Tag me. 